Hey everybody, it's Chris with Things That Really Work and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reviewing the Panlello Android Head Unit. Um, this is the DVD version. Uh, all of the units on Amazon that I saw uh, all come with 1 gigabyte of RAM uh, and they're all quad-core units. Uh, 7 inch screens. I believe they have some that are a little smaller but uh, 7 inch screens and you can find variations that have uh, all touch screen or um, some with knobs and buttons. Unfortunately the DVD version uh, only uh, is, is touch screen only. Okay, So I'm going to be reviewing this and I'm going to get into my thoughts about it, my recommendations at the end. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and get into the unit. Um, I apologize if I talk a little slow. I'm actually getting over a cold. Um, first of all, this unit comes with quite a few things. Uh, it has video out, which is something I want to address right now before I forget. A lot of units, a lot of them, most of them actually do not support video out. So if you planned on, you know, connecting some TVs that you install in your headrest or just an, uh, a, a, maybe a ceiling mount later on, it will not support that. Okay, this one will, but I'm just saying many of them will not support that. So that's something you want to look for if you're getting a he uh, an, an Android head unit. Other things I want to get into, um, I mean, other as far as features go, it's a... It's a typical Android tablet, okay? Um, it's just quad core with one gigabyte of RAM. A lot of people will shoot for two gigabytes uh, in, in octa cores. I will say that this unit in particular moves, I mean, pretty fluidly. I haven't had any hang ups or anything like that. Um, now, uh, something interesting about this unit in particular is its size. You might see that I have these gaps here that I was going to uh, custom fabricate something so that it would uh, you know fill that little void but I'm actually not going to be keeping this unit and I'll get into the reasons why I'm not going to be keeping it so I didn't even bother with that first of all it is not the size of an average double den okay this is actually slightly larger and and it's not like slightly larger either it's, it's just larger okay this unit actually measures seven by four inches seven inches seven inches long four inches tall um, and your standard double den size is about six and three quarters wide and three and three quarters high that's a quarter inch top and to the side so if you have um, I mean you just need to keep that in mind if you're looking at purchasing this unit in particular to put in your car now I don't know if the non DVD units are standard size but the DVD unit um, is not standard uh, if I bought this for my Dodge Magnum it would not have fit at all uh, the other thing I want to get into is the speed now the non DVD units and I'm and I'm talking a lot about the non-DVD units because as I went back on Amazon to try to get some specs on this because, you know, I just had some questions. One, about like the illumination and everything. Uh, it's gone. I mean, I, I clicked the, the, I mean, it, it's just not there anymore. It's not like, I don't, I don't know if they're still selling this or if it's even an option. Um, originally, I just saw someone ask them if they had a... DVD unit and they forwarded them to this now in hindsight you know I don't I have old CDs but at the end of the day I probably will never use them I never use CDs in my um uh, in my Magnum I've never used a DVD in it so you know at that I would strongly say consider that you know this actually takes uh, micro SD cards and it works pretty fantastic in fact this one actually came with a 32 gig King Kingston <laughs> I don't know if it's genuine but it works really good um, so really quick I wanted to go over the speed how fast it boots up the non DVD units they actually um, say that they you know utilize quick boot where it boots up and two seconds or less than 10 seconds as you can see this is not the case with this one 
and this one doesn't even seem to have a sleep mode like if I turn turn it on and then turn it off and turn it right back on it's going to take the same 30 some odd seconds so we see that now something else I want to I do want to show you guys one cool feature about it is when you it's backup camera now it does come with a backup camera I did not use it because I needed to drill into the car and I'm glad I didn't use it because you know I'm, I'm not keeping it uh, I actually have a um, one of those license plates um, easily removable uh, cameras on here and I did that just because you know when or if I decide to sell this truck um, you know I, I just might take it with me you know who knows they might not want this head unit or Android unit or whatever because it's an older guy that flagged me down the other day a little while ago said he wanted to buy my truck so anyway I wanted to show you when it's starting up a lot of units suffer from this uh, of reversal lag so I'll just show you even though even though it's just booting up if I put the car in a reverse immediately it'll still show it'll still show up so that's pretty good that's a that's a good feature to have okay um, and a lot of units do not do that in fact there are some units uh, I think like the Onus 500 the quad core it was word that um, for the past year the quad core units did not even once they booted up they had a, a strong lag a strong delay uh, even once the thing was fully booted so anyway, I want to show that as far as brightness goes it's very bright I actually had it down pretty low um, it's really bright as you can see oh, there's a, a huge reflection from the seat uh, the glare is pretty terrible during the day um, I would highly recommend getting like an anti-glare film if you can find it I've been looking all over Amazon I thought I found some it was a delay on the shipping I ended up canceling because I knew hey you know I'm not going to keep this thing uh, one thing I do want to do is turn on the Wi-Fi to my phone sorry about that I forgot to uh, do that before the video but you can see it's connected to the Wi-Fi in my house it connects really fast there's no lag or delay in any connection to you um, hopefully it'll pick up the Wi-Fi out of my phone. Let me see. Ah, uh, there we go. And now I'll just go through a few things. All right, it's connected. Um, I'll go through a few things as far as. Let's see. You can use this Pi. I downloaded this music player. Um, You know, it, it plays pretty well. I, I can't actually play any of the music. Well, I can play some local stuff, and I'll, and I'll, I'll get to that. Uh, but just to go show you how fluid it is, it works really well. I mean, I don't experience any real delay, anything that would be detrimental. Um, I don't even use Google Maps on here, but it does come with, which one? I just hit navigation. I think that's iGo. And it does come with a GPS antenna. I have mine sitting up there. Nation. All right. So that's that. Um, I'll leave that open. Um, there are two ways you can control the volume. As you can see, mine are illuminated. I notice a lot of people who do these reviews, their um, screens aren't illuminated. There's GPS signal lost. Well, there's that. Um, there's a reason for that. Uh, there's this funny way you have to wire it, and I'll also get into that. Um, the wiring instructions, um, the install instructions that came with the head unit were pretty bad. Um, I would not recommend following them. Even now, they everything's packaged pretty well. The wiring harness was labeled, uh, labeled well, uh, but those labels were incorrect uh, for for a lot of things okay here's um Pandora uh, let's see have Pandora running what else can we do um, 
pull the calculator up. I'm just trying to load up some things so we can see whether it bogs down. I mean, there's one. It's still moving pretty fluid there. Um, YouTube. So as you guys can see, things work, and they work pretty. They work pretty well. Uh, now. I got into the backup camera. Okay, now, um, would I recommend this unit? The reason I would not recommend this unit uh, is mainly due to one thing, and that is the fact that it does not have an actual knob. Uh, it is virtually impossible to change the volume without looking at the screen. I mean, you have to take your eyes off the road to adjust the volume, and even still, you got to kind of prop your hand up and, you know, feel around it, it's it's not intuitive at all now I don't have steering wheel controls on my car on this truck uh, so you know if you have steering wheel controls then it does connect to cannabis systems so that um, that will work for you um, but if you don't have steering wheel controls I would not recommend this um, the other thing I would do is I would highly recommend buying it from Amazon just because you know returns are kind of easy. Um, this does come with a mic out uh, uh, function, but it also has a microphone built in, which I thought I would like. But everyone says that I just sound really far away, so the mic doesn't uh, function that well. Um, even though I've I've heard it tell me while I was driving the GPS signal was lost, it never affected the actual GPS so I don't really want to say that that's a problem I've also noticed a lot of times it gives me weird messages saying that if there's invalid data I don't know what that means everything still works fine so I just kind of ignore those things um, let's see that's pretty much it uh, you know other than that it's just like having a an Android tablet in your car uh, and like I said everything works pretty well like, let me see here. Try to play something that won't get my video flagged. Okay. And there's a couple ways you can control the volume. You can go there or you can swipe down and hit volume. Hit volume. There you go. windows because my kids are sleeping oh and the uh, speaker output uh, is 4x45 I believe on the non DVD units it says it's 4x41 and it has made a drastic difference in the way my speaker sound Uh, and now that is something also to consider. It does not still play uh, YouTube when you uh, go off. Let's see. No thanks. Which is normal for an Android unit. I've never played a DVD in here, but I think I do have a CD in there. But uh, it has a DVD button, and it's loading. I have an MP3 in there, MP3 CD. So just while we're sitting here, if you do decide to get this, uh, so anyway, you see that it if it had album art. If I had album art, it would, you know, display it here. Uh, let's see. And I'll play some music from the SD card. This is from the SD card. This first cross, sexy, you my type of girl. We could take on, we could get together. 
<laughs> all right so it is and then it remembers its place and all that it remembers its place with the um with YouTube, obviously, it remembers its place with the SD card. So if I turn the truck off, start it back up, it'll pick back up where it left off with the um, SD card slot. Uh, also, with the CDs, this is something actually very cool that it does. I could take the CD out, okay? Pop it back in. I actually... Um, Anyway, I could pop it back in and it will pick up back where it left off. I can't really display that now because, you know, I don't want this video to get flagged. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now, uh, as far as wiring goes, uh, it would be better to show this once I take the unit back out, which I probably will. But if you want to get this to illuminate the orange wire off of the wiring harness and I'll leave information down on how to wire this thing up. It's, it's only a few wires you need to do. Uh, the orange wire you need to connect that to the ACC wire that's also attached to the wiring harness and connect that to the ACC coming from your car. Do not attach illumination to illumination, okay? Uh, they wire that wrong. It just needs 12 volts of power to turn on the lights. That's it. It's not a dimming type of thing. This doesn't do that. Um, and as far as everything else goes, I mean, the instructions for the for wiring the camera are all wrong. Um, and I'll have to pull it out to kind of go over that because I don't remember exactly what I did. I think I plug, you gotta, it's a whole bunch of RCAs connected to the back of this thing. And uh, it goes to, let's say it'll be a row, three rows like that. It goes in that one the upper left if you're facing the unit it goes to the upper left RCA even though the directions say it goes on this side it doesn't it goes over there I think the directions say it goes down there but it really goes up there um, and that's pretty much it everything else is pretty self-explanatory and pretty straightforward and correct um, I have not had any issues with heat from this unit at all it has always been cool um, for the like two weeks that I had it and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful. I couldn't really find any very helpful uh, videos regarding the Panlello um, unit. Um, I'm, hopefully I'm not missing anything. Uh, and again, I would strongly, strongly recommend, even if you do have steering wheel controls, I would strongly recommend the knob. Uh, but if you need that DVD, then you're going to just have to go without the knob. And that's also something to consider when you're um, looking at uh, units that have very large screens, because I was going to put a 10-inch in here, but no knobs, again. And it is a, I mean, it's a huge safety hazard. I don't want to sound like a, a, a strict parent or a scared parent, even though I am a parent. But uh, you guys really don't understand. I didn't think this would be that bad, but it is really that bad it's worse than trying to like text and drive okay because this thing is stationary and you know you can move your phone around it's 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 worse than texting and driving okay so I don't recommend this if you don't have steering wheel controls um, and I honestly can't comment on how to get it to work with steering wheel controls I just know that it's Kate it says it's capable of doing so so wiring I don't know you have to find another video for that so with all that said I'm going to end this now it's, it's kind of long hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you guys next video